So our last topic was atomic structure. Now we're going to move on to types of bonding. So we'll be discussing ionic and covalent bonding in a little bit more detail. Let's look first at ionic bonding. In the last chapter, we discussed that ionic bonding happens typically between metals and nonmetals, and by a transfer of electrons from the metal to the nonmetal. The way I like to describe it is to use an example. So let's look at sodium chloride. That's just normal table salt. We have a metal, sodium in this case. Remember, it's on the left-hand side of the periodic table, as are all the metals, and a non-metal, chlorine, on the right-hand side, and they are bonded together. The atomic structure will be the electronic configuration of sodium. So we would say it's two, eight, and one. That means it has one free electron, and it's in its outer shell. So it wants to get rid of it. Remember, all these atoms want a full outer shell, so they can become more stable. Sodium wants to get rid of that one. On the other side, we have a chlorine atom. Now, chlorine, 17 minus 2, 8, and 7, has seven electrons in its outer shell and needs to gain one electron in order to complete its outer shell. So rather than losing the seven, it searches for an atom that can transfer one electron to it to complete its outer shell. The easiest thing that these atoms do is transfer the electron from the sodium to the chlorine. These atoms will now be called ions, due to the positive and negative charge within them. Hence the name ionic bonding. So the sodium loses an electron, and it makes sodium ion, and it has a plus one charge. We say a positive charge. This is because it's lost one electron, which is negative. So overall, there is one less electron in the atom, or in other words, one excess proton, thus making it positively charged. When that electron is given to the chlorine atom, it is donated to it. It fills out the outer shell of chlorine, making it stable. So now our chlorine atom becomes a chloride ion, and its electronic configuration is 2, 2 and 8, because it has one electron from the sodium to get a full outer shell. And it also now has a negative charge, because it's gained one extra electron. Now we have...